This is the plaintiff, Kathy Grandy. She says the defendant tried to illegally pass her on the right in his tow truck, and he sideswiped her, causing damages. The impatient hothead refuses to pay her to get her car fixed, and she's here seeking justice in the amount of $1,898, the cost to repair her car. This is the defendant, Doug Foley. He says the plaintiff made a sudden right-hand turn, and her fender clipped the mud flap to his truck. His driver recorded audio of her at the scene admitting fault, and now she's turning around trying to sue him? The evidence will speak for itself, and the plaintiff will learn it's not nice to lie in court. He's accused of causing vehicular damages. All parties, please use your right hand. See to come to order, please. <laughs> Litigants have been sworn, Yana. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Kathy Grande, you are suing Don Glow Service Station, represented here by Doug Foley. Yes, ma'am. Okay, for $1,898 in damage to your vehicle that you say was committed by one of their tow trucks? Yes. Okay. Tell me what happened. Okay. Um, I was going down one lane um, in Mount Vernon, 30 miles per hour. And on my left side, there was a gas station on the corner on First Street. Okay, let, we have like a uh, uh, drawing up there. Would that help you? Can you go over there and kind of make one car your car? And Okay. Actually, I was going this way. Okay, so pick a, a car. car. Grab a car. Grab a car. car. There you right. go. There you go. And this truck, oh great, it was behind <laughs> me. So let's go like this. And then, actually, it, I was on the corner first. There's a corner here. So I was all the way up here. There's a light, like a little blinking light. You know what you could do? You could make that the corner and just like alter your, oh, while yeah, you yeah, flip yeah, it, yeah. now flip the cars. Uh, great. Okay, darling, okay. hold on. Yeah, here's the, wait, okay. okay. Great, great. But wait. Actually. You're in a corner and what happens? Here's the gas station. On okay. The left. Okay. And uh, a lot of traffic coming in and out. Okay. The brand new is like flags all over. So I, I, I was going 30, that's the speed limit, slowed down to 35 and looked over to make sure nobody was coming out. Okay. And he, this guy came here like this. Boom. <laughs> boom. Wait, he just went like that with his just back like, of it, just like that. Boom. And boom. just hit the back of your thing. <laughs> boom. Boom. He just so, went apropos to nothing, just went boom like that. No, actually, yeah. It was like, <laughs> like that, yeah. This thing hit me back. Is this like one this. lane? It's all one lane. So how did parking. the truck even parking have, so no how did he have room to do that? That's it. He really was, it's an illegal uh, pass. And luckily there was no cars parked, but these were all parking spots. So he did try and pass me, whether he was in a rush, I don't know. But, and and I do you think he over. tried to, to pass you because you, you had slowed down? Oh, for no, the, no, 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 no. I didn't slow down that much. I just like. No, but I'm, I'm saying, saying, do you well, think he was just impatient or? Yes. Possibly. So do it didn't. again. I want to see it again. Okay. Um, coming up here. Uh, okay, he, here it is. Boom. Oh, look at the people here. I'm slowed down. And he wanted to go. Boom. I wanted to see if he made the same noise a second time. <laughs> I wanted to see that. And apparently he did. Okay. He did. I, that's what happened. And I so looked, he hits you and what happens? Since we were still moving, I had moved up towards him to look at him and said, you just hit me. Can we pull over? Okay. We and were still moving. Over? And he pulled over, yeah. Okay, and then what happened? And then he was trying to little intimidate me a little bit, saying that it was my fault because I was making a left, and I was not making a left-hand turn to go anywhere. I was going straight. I had my mind set on going to my father-in-law's house in Mount Vernon. That's okay, where I was so you weren't, you weren't no, trying no. to decide whether no, to go to... No, no, just looking over to make sure nobody was going to come out, slow down at, slowing down at an intersection, like okay. maybe five miles, like to 30 to 25 miles down. Okay, so there, so there was no, he's accusing you of some indecision and you're saying there's no indecision. Right. Okay, so then what happens? He was kind of intimidating, saying, you know, you, you, it's your fault. I said, how is it my okay, fault? Okay, but when you say intimidate little, you. He, by saying I was making a left turn, which I wasn't. Okay, so he has, his, he has his, 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 his version. That's right. the intimidation? Yeah, I felt Okay, I thought he actually intimidated no, you. No, right. well, he was trying to intimidate, make it look like it was my fault, and it wasn't. So I was like, That's not shot. intimidation. That's just telling you he thinks it's your fault. Right, okay, well, so go on. Not intimidation then. All right, just, and then you. You, know, like, I was you said, what'd point. you say to him when I he said, said that? Do, what should we do? I said, should I call the cops? He didn't know. So there was a hesitation. And then why I don't said, you call the cops? Why, why, why is that up to him? Well, I don't know, because he was kind of accusing me of it. So I said, do you want to call the cops? 
he didn't say anything. I said, well, why don't we just exchange our numbers and have this uh, looked at? Okay. And that was it. And right, was there damage to the tow truck? None. Right, that's usually the case. Well, <laughs> what were you driving? I have a um, 2008 Hyundai. Okay, so you exchange information, a... you call the, the company, the company gives you the insurance name, the insurance comes out, they give you an estimate of what the damage to your car is, but in the end, insurance denied liability, correct? Yes. Did they tell you why? Um, they mentioned that- They uh, said it was your fault. Yeah, well, no, negligence. Yeah, Whatever that's, that, means. that it's yeah. your fault, okay. that means. All right, are you the driver or the owner? The owner. So you're not the driver? No, ma'am. Why didn't you bring me the driver? Driver had a knee operation and he's. Or at least he got a good had. reason. Yeah. Because if I hear you say he had to work, I'll kill you. No. And I am so tired no. of hearing that because I really I, like to hear from the guy who was actually, actually there because you weren't there. Well, I do have a, uh, an audio recording of her talking to my driver. You do? Yes, ma'am. Who knew? Oh, God. Uh, did you know that he had an audio recording? Yeah. You did? I think so. They told me. I said, I don't care. Come meet you in court. Wait. Did I, you ask to hear the audio recording? No, because I know I don't, didn't say anything really wrong in the audio, so there's nothing, and there's no visual <laughs> that he could prove anything. There's no, oh, they look for oh, a tape, but there's oh, none. Oh, be there, no mistake, I want to hear the audio. Yeah, me too. But uh, before I hear, no, 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 not yet. Uh, before I hear the <laughs> audio, what I'd like to hear is, when did you learn there was an audio? By the way, what state are you got? New York, New York. so it's a one-party consent state, so that's legal to tape somebody talking to you if you consent to taping the person. In other words, you can surreptitiously tape some, not two, you can't stick a, 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 a recorder uh, in your husband's car so you can find <laughs> out you know, what your husband and his mistress are talking about because those two people are not consenting. <laughs> but if you're talking to somebody, you can tape them. So it's okay. In many states, it's a third degree felony Ooh. to do that. In the state of Florida, it's a third degree felony. Um, however, in New York, you can tape somebody without their knowledge and use it in court. So when did you first learn the insurance company told you? And didn't you say, can I hear it before you decided to go to court? No, and because I it's just, no, I, I don't know. I didn't. Who's the lady next to you? My daughter, Amanda. Okay. Your guy comes to work and tells you this happened. Uh, at the scene, he told me. He told you from the scene. Yes, did you go out to the scene? No. Okay. Did he take pictures? Yes. Oh, he did. Let me see. Uh, he the took picture. pictures of the car uh, of this young lady and also the. At, uh, he took pictures at the scene or once he came back? Yes, ma'am, at the scene. Let me see the pictures that he took. Thank you. Thank you. This is a picture of her car? Yes. Because that's like, that's a lot of dam. I mean, that's a significant amount of uh, dam. I've been, I've been in the automotive business for 33 years, mm -hmm. and I could say approximately, that's about a $2,000 yeah. uh, job. She's actually two, doing two for Two panels, us. approximately. Uh, at okay. first, it was a $5,000 uh, lawsuit she was selling. Was, oh, uh, she wanted five grand from you guys? That's what the, yeah. But this lawsuit's for eighteen ninety eight. dollars Dropped down, evidently. Wait, did the, was the lawsuit actually filed for five? Yes, ma'am. It was? How did it go from five to, to, to 18? What? My body man told me to. <laughs> told you to, to extort for money? Five. Yeah. So. Told you to make your lawsuit. Yeah, I didn't understand to why. To swear that you are out five grand when you're only out two? Your body man told Honestly, you, so yeah. that's how I you operate? Well, I, I questioned it, but I did it anyway. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, be honest with me. When people get in car accidents, do they typically lie about what it costs to repair their car? Yes, they do. Have you? I haven't. Really? No, I have. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was easy. What do you think? No, they, they lie. I, I agree they lie. And I've been in an accident and I saw the cost of the other car. Couldn't believe it. And it wasn't real? It wasn't real. What do you think? Uh, I think people are mainly honest. I think we How about you, for example? Have you, have you been in a car accident? Yeah, yeah. Did you tell the truth about how much the damage was? Um, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. All right, so play your audio. No problem. Play that funky music, white boy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to cover my interesting case. case. You right. know, you, um, mm. 
know. But you were so darling at the I scene. I know. Okay. Uh, Would you like to respond was hurt. to what That's I just what heard I you say. saying at the scene, which is uh, indecision. Blah blah blah. To go in because he, he. This is one good tow truck driver. He thought to tape, but his thumb got there just a tad too late. To go in because I I wasn't sure if I was going in, and that's where the indecision came. Right. Where's that stuff about I knew I was heading somewhere? There was no one. Like, where, where, what accident are you describing that doesn't sound like you on that tape? It's not cute. It's not okay. It's called perjury. Uh -huh. It's not okay. So I hear that, and what am I supposed to do with you? I don't know. I'm, it was a shock. I was in shock. It you were in shock when? When he hit me. He, like, and you were so in shock that you explained I mean, to him that it was your fault? He tried to make it look like it was my fault. Boom, that, what do you mean him making it look? That's you making it look. All right. And then you come to court and you sue for $5,000. It's oh. not okay and it's not cute. No. It's horrible and it's a terrible example to give your daughter. Your daughter's mortified and she's so embarrassed right now that I'm gonna end her misery. Verdict for the defendant. Thank you. Right, both sides, both sides. Well, the plaintiff right here, uh, he turned out to be not a very believable litigant in the courtroom. No, I probably should have had a lawyer with me. Well, you think that would have made a difference? Maybe. Let him lie for you? It wasn't a lie. I, 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 he hit me. But What's you, a lie? You did hear it on he, the tape. I it did, says, but he, I was intimidated. Yeah, did it make you uncomfortable listening to what went down in court? I think, like, my mom gets nervous easily, so I think maybe she didn't know exactly what happened. So... Mm -hmm. Just like I'm sorry, because like you get an accident, you apologize. Like hopefully whoever. nobody's hurt, and that's it. But I was very nervous, and I didn't know what happened when it happened. All right, all right. Maybe. Follow Officer McIntosh, okay. okay? All right, thank you. All right, so step on in here. Um, well, it obviously uh, went your way. There, you win. Yes, I did. Yeah. Um, what? How'd you find this uh, person to deal with? Uh, I mean, I have never dealt with her. I talked to the insurance company. The insurance company listened to the uh, audio, and they decided not to press charge. You know, not to pursue the uh, accident and everything. And you know, thank God I kept this. This happened, uh, you know, seven, eight months ago. How about I, your How about your guy at the scene? Does he get a raise? Yes, he does. <laughs> Harvey. Okay, Kurt. You know what you say at the scene of an accident is critical. So choose your words carefully. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.